Hi everyone. So today we are given this question. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. Okay. So let us start with the solution. So we will solve this using Euclid's division algorithm. So let us first understand what is Euclid's division algorithm. Euclid's division algorithm. So we all know Euclid's division algorithm is nothing but dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. This we all know. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay. And now let us take dividend as a let us take divisor as b let us take quotient as q so b into q is bq and then plus remainder as small r so we all know that remainder will have a limit that it will always lie between 0 and strictly less than b what is b b is the divisor we all know remainder cannot be greater than or equal to the divisor right so therefore uh, remainder is strictly less than the divisor which is b so here we have a is equal to bq plus r. Now as you can see in the question we have the integer of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5 right meaning if I compare this equation which is a is equal to bq plus r and the 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5 so clearly b is given 6 right and now since we have this condition that r will lie between 0 to b so therefore r will have the you know, possible values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the last value. Why? Because b is equal to 6 and r can take only less than b values which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So these are the possible values of r. Now we can start putting this value of r in this expression. Suppose this is equation 1. So from equation 1 if I put r is equal to 0 and of course b will be 6 because every time b is 6 only so in that case a will become b into q meaning 6 into q plus r is 0 that means 6q only second when we are putting r is equal to 1 and of course b is equal to 6 same so in that case this will become a is equal to 6q plus r is 1 meaning this now r is equal to 2 b is equal to 6. So, in that case, this will become a is equal to 6q plus 2. Similarly, you can see we will get a is equal to 6q plus 3. Next, we will get a is equal to 6q plus 4. And then we will get a is equal to the last one 6q plus 5 because the last value of r is 5 only. So, we have these, uh, these possibilities. Now, as you can see here, when we have written a is equal to 6q, okay, a is equal to 6q. So, this we can also write down as 2 into 3q. And we know that 2 into any number will be nothing but the even one. So, therefore, a is equal to 6q is even. But we want here the odd integers, right? So, therefore, this is not possible. Similarly, you can see that we can write down this 6q plus 2 as by taking 2 common. So, we are left with 3q plus 1. That means 3q plus 1, whatever is the expression here, that multiplied by 2. And any number multiplied by 2 will always give you an even number. So, therefore, this is also even. Similarly, this is also even because if I take 2 common, so we are left with 3q plus 2. Right? So, this is also even. So, this one is even, this one is even and this one is even. So, clearly we can see here that a is equal to 6q plus 1 a is equal to 6q plus 3 and a is equal to 6q plus 5 will be odd. Why? Because 6q plus 1, if I write 6q as 2 into 3q, that will be even. But if I add 1, meaning this I can write down as 2 into 3q. So, this is even because 2 is getting multiplied. But since we are adding 1 in an even number, so that will make this odd only. So, this is odd. Similarly, this one is also odd and this one is also odd. So, therefore, we can write down any positive integer, any positive odd integer, any positive odd 
integer is of the form six q plus one six q plus three or six q plus three or six q plus five only and of course where q is some integer so hence this is what we wanted to prove hence proved okay so that is the end of this proof uh, i hope this answered your question thank you so much